Hi guys, my name is Soumya Nitin Shah and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, pH sensors and how to me uh, measure soil pH uh, using a soil pH meter or a soil pH meter probe and interfacing the, uh, that with Arduino. So first of all I'm going to be showing you some interfacing diagrams on internet which is, pre which is pretty popular. Uh, just a second guys. So where you can get a, uh, get a pH sensor is uh, the website known as uh, DF Robots. They sell the best quality of pH sensor. I'm not doing any publicity guys, but I bought this from uh, DF Robots. So it's pretty good. You should give, give it out a try. So this is a pH sensor. Let me just show you. So yeah, so this is a pH sensor right here. Now, if you observe it carefully guys, you, you observe that the probe is not you cannot interface this with Arduino microcontroller, right? So now if I want to interface with an Arduino microcontroller, how should I do that, right? I need something like this. That's a BNC probe converter to your normal, uh, I mean your normal Arduino controller. This, is, this right here, the blue part is the sensitivity uh, controller, con controlling if you want to control the sensitivity of the, of the device. All right, so you insert this probe right here and this wire goes here and there are three pins that is the VCC ground and output. The output pin goes to analog. Let me just show you. Uh, it, 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 your concepts would be pretty much clear when I, when I just show you, show you everything. Let me choose a appropriate color first of all for you guys. All right. So this pin right here. So first of all, just a second. Yeah. So the first of all, this part will be connected to the this part and this part would go to the VCC, the ground and A0 of Arduino microcontroller, right? Pretty much simple. I mean, your concepts are clear. I mean, and this, so attach the BNC uh, probe to the BNC connector. This part would go to the Arduino VCC ground and analog output, right? So it is clear, right? What, what we have to do just a second. So now since the interfacing is pretty much clear, now let's jump in into the hardware part. I mean how to do, uh, sorry, let's jump in into the uh, coding part, right? So what is the code, how to write the code and stuff. All right. So here we have the program itself. So first of all, I'm defining a sensor pin as zero. That means I'm attaching uh, the sensor output pin at analog A0 of Arduino microcontroller. Uh, unsigned long end average value. I'm assigning a variable. Then I'm assigning again a variable b. Then I have defined a two. Uh, I have defined a buffer of 10 bits. Then I have a temp void setup. Pretty much clear. It's an output pin. Serial begin 9600. Print line ready. Comes come. Let's come to the loop part. So uh, this part is not that important. I mean, what what important part is right? This this two lines. So now what we are trying to do here is whatever values we get, we are trying to convert that into uh, millivolts, the analog value. We are trying to convert that into millivolts. So for that, the conversion is, uh, conversion is given below. And then we are trying to convert that millivolt into a pH value. So this is the formula of that. And I've just written that formula. So you can have a look at it. Float pH value equals to float average value into 5 into 1024. Sorry into one, divide by 1024 divide by 6 pH value equals to 5 into pH value from whatever value you get from uh, step above that and I've simply I'm printing the pH value and you can just write the uh, LED high or low depending upon a pH value you can just add an if statement let's say you have an aquarium and you are measuring the pH value let's say if the pH goes above 6 then you want to trigger a relay or lights or whatever so you can do that and uh, if you find this video useful, do give a like, subscribe to me and as usual the code would be given below. You can download the program itself. So if you guys like my video, give a like, subscribe to me. If you have any questions, you can list your questions in the comment section below and I would try my best to answer your questions. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much guys and see you next time.